This research project uh, took place in uh, 2014. The research team was myself, Garrett Murian, Yana Khalubkova, Milen Ivanov, and Stephen Somson from Radiant Life Technologies. And with data collection, we have Stephen Somson, Yana, Maxim, and Milen Svelidov, and Milen. So we have participants from four different countries. In this case series, we looked at how Delta laser at 980 nanometers can provide benefit to individuals with knee osteoarthritis. Uh, we found seven males and five females who agreed to participate in this case series. Average age was six years old from 45 to 80. All of them were diagnosed with osteoarthritis. Some of them just recently, a couple, two, three years ago. Others had the condition for 15 uh, or even more years. But most of cases were at an advanced stage. Some of the participants had already been recommended for knee replacements. Some of them had surgeries to repair, to try to repair the cartilage. We had one participant with complete loss of cartilage, which is a grade 5, and only two participants had more or mild osteoarthritis. Now, in this study, we did not include the following conditions. Rheumatoid arthritis, because the treatment for rheumatoid arthritis is quite involved. It's not as simple as just the local treatments. We also not included congenital deformities such as Perthes disease and so on, because again, the treatments are very different. We did not include people with already performed replacements of hip or the knee joint, and also severe heart failure or neurological diseases. The treatments, each participant had a 980 nanometer delta laser and they perform treatments at home, once daily, using Traumatology 10. So this is the graph on the right. And Universal 3, for three months, once daily. To monitor the progression of the healing, we used several self-reported outcome measures. First of all, we used the overall assessment of the healing process. Secondly, we asked every day to keep diary a record of their maximum pain levels. And we also use knee injury and osteoarthritis outcome score course. It's a questionnaire and specifically designed to assess short and long-term outcomes after a knee injury or a knee condition. So using this questionnaire, we can assess five different aspects from zero to 100, which is symptoms, pain, functioning in daily life, sports, and overall quality of life. So each participant had Delta laser for three months. They did the treatments for three months. And after three months, this is the overall changes. So we asked them, how, how much do you rate your improvement after three months of common therapy? So we have we had one participant who reported no change one participant slightly improved, one moderately improved, seven participants replied much improvement, and two substantially improved. And we had no participants who reported fully uh, recovered after three months of treatments. So let's look at some details. This graph shows changes in the pain as reported by the knee health questionnaire, the course. Each line represents change from before to after three months of treatment. Each green line corresponds to a person with significant change in the knee, uh, in knee pain. What you see here is six participants had very strong, statistically significant improvement in pain. The green lines are, as you can see, there's still some improvement, but what they say, not significant, statistically significant. And one person reported actually worsening of the condition. 
But when I looked more closely into this case uh, of this red line, uh, this participant actually reported improvement in other course uh, parameters as quality of life. So it's actually very interesting. This person had sports-related injury, or at least he linked his development to the sports injury. But overall, the trend upward is very clear with all these participants. Okay, if you look at the quality of life, these questions report how knee problems and osteoarthritis influence overall quality of life. Again, we have six participants reporting very clear, very significant improvement in the condition. And one here at the bottom, this is eight year old lady with osteoarthritis grade five. Grade five is when there is no cartilage left completely. She had reported no changes. Six other participants, very significant. Okay, to give you an idea of daily progression or what changes participants experience with Delta Laser, this is a graph of daily pain as recorded by a participant. So the first 35 days, so this level of pain of 35 days, were without Delta Laser before so the baseline. As soon as the lady began coma therapy, she had immediate and very quite fast improvement in overall pain condition, as you can see. Then over the time, there was changes up and down, up and down, but overall, the trend remained over the next three months. So this is the sort of overall progression of the daily pain levels. So to conclude this study, now this is, we just uh, literally finished uh, processing this data. Overall, we see very good results with 980 nanometer delta laser applied only once daily. And there is room for improvement. Well, first of all, if treatment are not sufficient, two or even more treatments per day can be considered. Next, now we also have much more experience with nano 5 delta laser, and we already know that this delta laser 905 should be applied in the conditions of when there is more severe or more advanced stages of the disease. Also noted that in the condition when there is a lot of other related uh, diseases, a more comprehensive or systemic support should be done with common therapy, meaning treatments should be done other for other health conditions as well. And also it becomes very clear that a more holistic approach is necessary and we're talking about here uh, physical exercise, the diet, and also addressing what we call true causes of the disease or the emotional roots of chronic diseases as well. This concludes this first presentation on neosarthritis.